What's up guys, Chasing Lamy here for the biggest game we've ever played on Robin's Revival. It is the Championship Playoff Final. Hit like and subscribe because on the other side of the intro, we're just going to get straight into this one. So here we are then, we're playing Bournemouth today in the final for all the marbles and in fact all the money. This game I think they say is worth about 150 million quid and frankly we're 6 million in the red so we could use the money. Apologies by the way if my voice is a bit weak because I've been at work all day and uh, I'm definitely, definitely feeling it. So let's go and have a look, see what the starting lineup looks like and we'll get straight into it. So today's starting lineup then is going to be Baxter in goal, Gould at right back, Webster and Gibson in the middle with Drama on the left hand side, Specchneider and Ruiz in the centre of midfield as we've come to expect with Land returning from injury they're only able to play 75 minutes. Anthony on the right wing, Gianni Matika making up the rest of the attacking midfield with DCR, hiss and miss man up front. On the bench we've got Mbete and Yaya, Palmer, Wesley, Odomayo, Tullock and Johansson who will probably make his last appearance at the club today if we're going to look like we're doing well enough to give him a run out. So let's submit that and let's go see what we can do at Wembley. I'm not wearing a suit. I had no intention of wearing a suit. We just need to get this done. So here we are in the dressing room. Make no mis mistake about this. We are we are up against it. They're a very strong side at Bournemouth. I'm going to look at what we've got to say here. I want to say we could, I want you to come back here a full time as an English Premier Division team. I so say go out there and impress me because that feels like a far stronger team talk. And we're going to do what we did in the previous games as well. We're going to try and fire everyone up with a bit of a go make a difference, make me proud kind of statement as well. Into the tunnel, because of course there's an interview before this. Some pundits have labelled this match as the richest prize in football. With so much money on offer for a team to win the Premier League, and how much of an extra incentive is that? The rewards for any pro team almost it's obscene. It can really help a club like ours kick on to another level, so it's vitally important for us to win. Well, that's a fairly strong statement. Bournemouth got the better of your team during the regular season. Can you make it count when it matters at most, though? We learned more in defeat than many victories this season. Love that. Confident. So. Wembley Stadium, we are wearing yellow today because despite the fact we've apparently been drawn as the home team, for some reason we have to wear our away kit. I don't know how that works, I don't understand it, I suspect there's some kind of queen toss for that, but you know, I don't ask questions. Why would I ask questions? This linesman's gone off on a wander. Good times indeed, and we are underway here at Wembley Stadium. So throw in from Bournemouth, and it's with Barco now. Molina picks up the ball on the near side. We need to see some good defending here from Cody Drama, and he has picked up the ball. Gibson and Drama, some great interplay. Can we build from the back here? Gibson to Ruiz. Ruiz to Drama. We need a big performance from, Will, from Ruiz today because he is very much our star man. He's rated as being a good player for most Premier League sides, which is quite telling, I think. And Matika now on the ball. Drama. Drama, what's he going to do? Back to Gibson, to Drama again. And Gibson, some, these guys just like passing the ball to each other. Ruiz to Matika. Matika's got himself in a bit of trouble, but plays it to Drama. Ruiz finds the through ball, though. It's one on with the keeper. Can he put it away? He can't. Straight at SEN Green in the Bournemouth goal. It was looking strong there. We're looking good. We are the only side that, well, we're the only team that's had a shot on target so far. And we are dominating possession which hopefully be a good sign, not a sign of an incoming FMing. Matika now on the ball to DC. DC brought down by Sambi Lakongo. And is this a red card? It looks like it's a red It is a red card for Bournemouth. And 10 men up against us now. Gibson takes the free kick to Ruiz. Back to Gibson. And this should be our big chance for some Premier League football next season. Baxter over the top. Not really to anyone. Jamal Lassell, the captain of Bournemouth, picks it up. Molina on the near side. Matika gets the ball, though, and Drama picks it up. Plays it inside to Specchneider. First time we've seen him today, and Specchneider can occasionally come up with something brilliant. Gianni, though, not coming up with something brilliant. It's got to be said, gives it away, picks it back up. Ball over the top, looking for Cody Drama. Is he going to cross it to someone useful? Ruiz is there. 
Oh, Ruiz gives it away. Picks it back up, though. Gianni. Gianni, plenty of options. Ruiz picks it up. Back to Speck Schneider. Ball through to Land. Brendan Land. Out to Glenn Gould. Gould. Far side to Speck Schneider. To Land. Land has all the time in the world to flick it over to Ruiz. Oh, I thought Ruiz was going to be the hero, and he hasn't quite done it. But, you know, we're still up against 10 men, and there is nearly an hour left to play. We're going to demand more from the boys as we head towards half-time. Hopefully that will fire them up a little bit, and maybe we can sneak a goal just before the break. So that is the end of the first half. It's still 0-0. We are by far the better team, which is always a positive. I think we're probably going to do a score and reflect the passion of the game, number of chances we've created, and we're going to do again the pumping up. You weren't that bad. You can still improve. I have faith in you, because I do have actual genuine faith in this team, although I am... Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll just tell Daniel VC we believe in him, and hopefully he'll show up. If not, I'll have to send on Wesley looking for a goal, which is never preferable. The reason most of our goals this season have come from midfield is DC takes the free kick to land back post and Green makes the save that was going wide anyway. Corner now is with Gianni, puts it into the box. Matik headed down to Speck Schneider, hits the crossbar. I sent on Odomayo at right back because Glenn Gould was not having the best game of his career. And I am going to have to have a look at sending on Daniel, or taking off Daniel DC and sending on Wesley because there's really no other option at this stage. Free kick now for Bournemouth. Barco puts it into the box. It's gone well. Why? I mean, I thought I thought that crossed the line, but Chong apparently kept it in. Barco with the header, and it just goes over the top of the bar. There are 15 minutes left to play. It's still nil-nil. I have sent in Stefan Johansson, because I felt like this is his time to shine, to be a leader on the pitch. Ruiz now with the ball to Gibson. Gibson back to Ruiz, who's now on the left wing. Crosses it. Wesley at the back post. It's 1-0. And Wilmar Ruiz with the assist, and that could be the goal that sends us into the Premier League. And I would not have predicted this when we started. I was hopeful, but I would not have predicted we'd actually get to the Premier League. And now I've got some real thinking to do as we go into the summer transfer break, because I think there's only two players in this squad that are actually good enough to be competitive at Premier League level, as Barco puts in a corner, headed away by Ruiz, Lerma picks it up, back into the mix, so Vestergaard heads it off the bar, free kick for offside, and as I was saying, I think Baxter and Ruiz are actually the only players in the squad, maybe Speck Schneider, who will be here next year as well, that can play Premier League football consistently which means I may have to do a massive summer rebuild just to keep us up. As time ticks away, there are a couple of minutes left on the clock. Can we get this done? That is the big question here. No stupid mistakes. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a focus shout just because I want to keep the boys a little bit paying attention. Throw in now with Gibson on the near side to Gianni. A second goal would wrap this up. Johansson with a cross into the box looking for Ruiz. Can't find him and Lerma picks up the ball and makes a break at us. Barco trying to chase that down. Webster picks it up to Baxter. Big ball downfield. Esquivel, Chong, Barco from range. Baxter with a big save and once again proves why he's been our star man this season. It's... I see... It's him and Ruiz have been our star men this season. Let's not put it all on one guy. That was some dangerous play. Webster to Odomayo. We just need to keep the ball now. Matika plays it across field looking for Ruiz. Headed to Lerma. Barco now to Molina. We've really got to do some closing down. Barco into the box for Chong. And he's put it wide. And that was the chance to take this to extra time for Bournemouth. You can't help thinking that's it. And it is it. We are in the Premier League. And... We just have to enjoy some fine, fine scenes. I thought there'd be some kind of trophy presentation for us to watch, but apparently not, as Wesley takes the Man of the Match award. I'm going to kind of keep it on the screen, just because I'm convinced there should be some kind of trophy. There wasn't some kind of trophy, but congratulations on securing promotion. Boys and girls, the Premier League is upon us. And I guess all that leaves now is to see how much money the board are going to give us to spend in this upcoming transfer window. Hopefully a lot, because I reckon I probably need about 12 players. Got an interview though. Congratulations, Chasing. How does it feel to be a Premier Division team? I'm delighted and so, so happy. 
fantastic playoff final victory to secure promotion. How do you feel in the immediate aftermath such an achievement? It's an incredible feeling and a great day for the club. That is pretty much the best way to sum all of this up. And now we hope for the big details. What is our budget for next season? Are we ready? 33.43 million on a 400k a week transfer wage budget, which means I've got about a hundred and something thousand to spend, I believe. I know. Yeah, about a hundred thousand pound ish to spend, 130 on a week on wages, which is like one Premier League quality player. And 33 million on transfers. The projection is going to be looking very strong for the next couple of years. That is excellent. That's what I like to see. So, all that's left me to do, guys, is wrap it up. Please celebrate promotion with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Premier League football coming to Swindon Town is something you need to see. And uh, ring the bell, leave comments, all that good stuff. Tell me wait, how you think next season's going to go. Let's have some predictions in the comments. Monday will be the transfer special. And until then, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you all very soon. I have, as always, been Chasing Lamely. And until next time, have a good one.